Hit video game, Flappy Bird is no more after the developer pulls it despite being the number one app on both Android and Apple stores. I'm Deborah Khan. Joining me now is Adam Najberg, who is a, the game theory columnist for The Wall Street Journal. Okay, Adam, so explain it to me. Uh, it's kind of a bizarre story, is it not? The developer says no more despite its popularity. Deborah, when this game came out in, in May 2013, it was nowhere. And suddenly it came from nowhere in November 2013. It just started to pop up at the top of the app stores. What you have to understand is this guy, uh, his name is Nguyen Dong. He is uh, an indie developer from Hanoi. And independent developers, you know, he, he doesn't have a very big company. All of a sudden, overnight, he has all this fame. He has $50,000 in ad revenue. He's popping to the top of the charts. There were trolls. There were memes. There were people complaining. And he went from being very, very helpful and friendly on his Twitter feed to being very defensive and finally announcing on Saturday, guys, I'm done, I'm yanking the game. You guys are overusing it, I've had enough. Okay, a, a little bit strange considering he's drawing in so much money and ad revenue, I mean, $50,000, that's a lot of money. But I wouldn't say no to, a, you know, if I developed a game and had that kind of money coming in. In fact, that's usually the point. And if you look at, at people who are sympathizing and empathizing with him, other game developers via Twitter, they, you know, he had the kind of success they want to have, but he has made it clear that he's really not that motivated by money. He's resisting calls to hire a PR company. He's resisting calls to sell his app to a bigger company. Okay, now he has developed other apps as well, right? Any indication whether or not he will bring this back and when he gets a hold of the situation, or I mean, has he has he said? Well, he's sort of gone quiet, at least on the social media that I've been monitoring. Uh, he does have other games that are also very popular. A couple of them, um, Juggling Balls and Shuriken, are in the top ten on the Apple side of things. Uh, he said he's going to keep developing games. It's just you wonder, is he going to be too successful? Will he do this again with his other games? Okay, and I certainly know a lot of people are talking about it. My kids had said, "Oh, you know, Mom, Flappy Bird's going to be no more." So you know, he's definitely making an impact out there. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a ridiculously simple game. One of the things that, that I think may have offended him, we're not sure, but he seemed a little cheesed off uh, in, in, on Twitter that people were saying that he ripped off Nintendo graphics, where, whereas he was paying homage to them. I think, you know, when you become famous, when you're out there, when you have a game that everyone's playing and talking about, you kind of have to get used to accepting the bad and the negative, the good and the positive. Okay, great. Thanks very much, Adam.